Okay, it's Tuesday morning, August 24, and uh, I'm leaving Flensburg now. I'm going to Denmark to continue back home to Sweden. So, goodbye, Flensburg. See you again. I crossed the border after only five kilometers, and as you can see, it's just this wooden bridge. And uh, I was thinking about 2015 when a lot of refugees were passing through Flensburg. And I wondered how this place looked uh, at that time. Uh, I had some berries and continued to travel more or less along the coast for about 15 kilometers. I had some problem with my gear shifting mechanism and when I arrived in Aubenrå I noticed it was becoming worse. Uh, I tried to clean it myself but uh, it didn't help so I realized I need to leave it for, for, uh, to a professional to fix it. And uh, he could fix it, but not this day. So I had to stay in Aubenbro for the night. Uh, and uh, Aubenbro was, a, like I said, a beautiful place. So it wasn't too bad. But I needed to find a place to sleep. And uh, I tried to do that uh, through a shelter map. And there were two shelters. Uh, close to the city and I went away to to find them or one of them uh, but it wasn't very easy and when 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 I was searching suddenly my I had problems with my shoes so I had to fix them too uh, which is not very difficult but yeah anyway uh, I gave up the search for a shelter and uh, realized I need to uh, wild camp, which I am not totally comfortable with, uh, as it's not allowed in Denmark, uh, as I understand it. So I left very early in the morning and uh, made my breakfast uh, at another place. Yeah, my bicycle was fixed and I continued my travel north. This is something new. Oh, I look like a knight. Uh, something new for me. Uh, a roundabout for bicycles. Uh, I'm trying to eat kilometers now. The weather is not so inspiring. Okay, I'm not looking forward so much to this. Maybe five kilometers with no uh, bicycle path. And it's quite heavy traffic. The cars actually need to, need to know if there are, there are bicycles here. Or I would check the map first for maybe going another way. Yes, okay, I I made a new road here. Uh, I was supposed to go this way. And it might be that it's okay after just five kilometers, but I don't like the idea of going there. So I will go here. This is my kind of road, much better. And uh, 78 meters. It's going to be a nice forest, I think. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, four, two, 
forest. Oh, maybe not that impressive, but still, it's better than trucks. Oh, <laughs> talking about it. To me, that day was about quite hard pedaling, and I don't have any more footage. So this is already the day after when I am in Aarhus. And in Aarhus I had one favorite place that I visited twice. It's called the Dome. And uh, I didn't know what it was when I first went there. I was just looking for coffee and saw on the map <laughs> I could have coffee here. And it turned out to be a very special place and for some reason I felt very calm uh, in there. I usually get restless quite quick when I'm uh, in a cafe or yeah anywhere but in here I felt I could sit for forever. And also uh, outside it was a very interesting place. After Aarhus, I tried one more time to find a shelter to sleep in, and uh, this time it was more successful. So here's the sea again, and uh, let's see, yeah, this peninsula, maybe somewhere here is where I'm going to sleep. Yeah, I found it, and there were two of them, one occupied and one free, for me. Uh, I also got used for my tarp for the first time to keep uh, dry while cooking. The shelter was close to the sea, so I could go swimming in the morning. Okay, that was a nice bath. Let's follow the... some road. <laughs> stay abroad I will do a tourist thing. I will uh, go on board on this ship. It's called Fregatten Jylland. It's almost a little scary. I'm feeling good now. <clears throat> I think I like this route uh, or this pass. Uh, maybe it's just because of the sunshine, I don't know. Time for a late lunch. It will include bread this time.
published materials about time. There's no bread today. Nope, <clears throat> there was no bread uh, for the lunch that day. So I had to eat my noodles without it. And then I played some sad notes on my harmonica to in, in memory of the lost bread. And then pedaled my way to Griano, where I was taking the ferry to Sweden. Riding along with the trucks to get on the ferry is a very special experience. Last time I did it we were at least five bicycles, but this time it was only me and the truck drivers. In the morning I arrived in Halmstad in Sweden. And the first thing I did was finding a beach to take a morning bath. You, you can't see me swimming though. <clears throat> I then used two days to pedal back to my hometown and uh, on the way I had time to meet up with friends in both Halmstad and Falkenberg. The last overnight stay I did was uh, at a hostel in Fegen. A beautiful hostel, beautifully located uh, just by a lake. And uh, yeah, I had a very nice evening there. And the next day, the owners uh, sent some sandwiches with me uh, for my ride.
Yeah, now it's maybe eight kilometers or so to my apartment. So this is the very last ride. My brother and his family met up uh, and uh, we had a bath and some cider. That was really nice. And yeah, if this is the end of this video, so uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope and I believe that I will do more traveling uh, with the trike and more videos about it. Uh, and, and if you want to subscribe, I'm very happy.